All right, so let's play while we're on this topic. He did want an Obama no, no, hey, I got that. And then what's the clip we're going to play? We're going to play the Edward Scissorhands clip. (laughs) This was great. This is only a piece. This is the main part of it. Uh, I'll set it up. Everyone's seen this, presumably. Yes, but not everyone that listens to No Agenda has necessarily seen it. I agree. Um, And a lot of Europeans probably haven't seen it. This is a... A piece of the clip of this woman on HLN, which is a CNN property, a headline news. She is interviewing some guy and she's talking about Snowden because Snowden's now a Twitter user. And oh, great, this Snowden's going to be on Twitter. I need to Let's- point something out. The woman was a classic Illuminati uh, insert as she is wearing a black and white dress split down the middle, which is a known, has a known psychological effect. She is interviewing some guy because they couldn't find anybody to stand up for Snowden because they're just blasting him for being a traitor. And they bring this guy on, and it turns out that he wasn't thinking of Edward Snowden at all. And she is so oblivious, she is not listening to this guy. She keeps asking questions. I was referring to, that was really feasibly harmed people. Do you think Snowden's actions were worth that risk? Well, you know, to say that he couldn't harm somebody, uh, you know, with what he did, um, like he could, absolutely he could have. Um, but I think to cast him out to uh, to make him invalid in society uh, simply because he has scissors for hands, I mean, that's, that's so strange because, I mean, people didn't get scared until he started uh, sculpting shrubs into dinosaur shapes and whatnot. All right, well, now Snowden's living in Russia. At Chris Zapp tweeted this. Dear Edward Snowden, what do you make of the massive Russian misinformation campaign going on? Listen, some people say it's hypocritical that Snowden has asylum in Russia. Russia has a lot of human rights violations. Well, yeah, casting him out is just completely wrong. Um, we're, we're treating him like an animal, like uh, somebody who should be quarantined and put away. Um, just because he was created on top of a mountain by Vincent Price and uh, incomplete with scissors for hands and no heart. Uh, Edward Scissorhands is a complete hero to me. But what about the choice that he made to live in a country like Russia? I mean, where else is he going to go? You know, uh, we cast him out. Like we uh, we got scared when he poked a hole in a waterbed with his scissor finger. Like that was uh, just unreasonable of us. Well, John, I appreciate you giving us your opinion. Thank you. You know, no, thanks. you know, um, yes, I can totally see how both. Well, certainly the host and the control room can miss this. But no, oh, you wait a minute. What? Yeah. Did yeah you oh, say. Well, listen to my full story. I can totally see that, you know, there's a lot going on. They're getting ready for the commercial. It's a throwaway segment, but no one's paying attention. No one gives a shit. So what did he just say? No, no one's listening. I know how this works. No one's listening. They probably don't have what's called a line producer who is supposed to be in charge of all this. But when I saw his Twitter handle come up lower third, that's when I knew this had to be a scam. Because even the Chiron operator, the guy who puts it the lower third, We'll say, really, you want me to put at fart on the screen? Come on, John. This was a setup. You this think it was a setup to embarrass this stupid woman? It was No, it was a setup. And remember, I said immediately she has a black and white dress. It's a setup to distract the attention from the obvious Brand Snowden psyop that is going on by having him, not just on Twitter, I'll point out he was verified immediately. Yeah, a point I, of I contention. The newsletter. A point of contention with me. Yeah. Uh, I think well, it was. It should be. I think it was done purposely. Well, you could be right. It wouldn't surprise me. But you, but, I mean, you, you have to agree. You've been in. You've been in uh, in uh, t- television control rooms. Yeah. Someone would say, uh, "It'd be like, hold on, you want? We well, got this guy. Uh, do you really want me to put at fart on the uh, lower third? Although." When they, the local station here in KTVU had the names of the surviving pa- uh, crew members of the plane that crashed at SFO as, oh, we, you know, do yeah, these yeah, Chinese some, names. Some Ting Wong and uh, Ting Ho- Wong. Holy Fook. I know. I know, John. I know. But when I saw the at fart go up, that's when I, it lost credibility as just a, an oversight. Seriously. Uh, and, and now CNN is all morning talking about this hoax. They're not talking. See, that's what you do. 
you know, it's like, oh, Snowden's on Twitter, but you know, instead of talking to him about it being a traitor or whatever, because he's and he still has his broken uh, nose I pad. I like the interpretation. I can I can accept it as a possibility. <laughs> okay, all right, that's the way I saw it. But uh, let me give this. I guy. should have seen it the same way. Well, I just saw it some well. dumb, dumb. I here's why I saw it because it's a pet peeve of mine. Mm-hmm. Interviewers who don't listen. I I'm going to predict this. Watch for this now. Because we every this has gone pretty viral, and people in Europe have this thing called uh, what is it called? Oh yeah, the internet. So you know, I think a lot of people have seen this because well, it's funny. It's funny. But this guy who has never been on television before, he's brought in, you know, as some expert to comment on this. Come on, give me a break. This guy is a, is a nudnik. He's crazy. He's a, he's a he's a troll. Well, he could be an actor or an actor. But is there a difference? Is the question. But with her, with the black and white dress, you watch whenever this is, dis- whenever Snowden comes up, we're going to see black and white checkers. Or that's All right, preferable. I, this second half of show stuff, but I'm, I'm liking it. Listen, hey, you're in my house. Hey, hey, Shame on you. You should be doing it. Hold on. I want to make sure we thank. Hold on, hold on. Karma. Give him the karma. 